All right, guys, what I got on the bench are the bad parts out of a 2009 4L60E, and the vehicle is a 2009 uh, Chevy Express 1500, but the thing about this van is it's an all-wheel drive. Uh, there is no Encoda motor, so it's constant. All the wheels are turning. So first, let's take a look at the pan. I mean, this transmission was completely destroyed. All the metal, I didn't clean the pan up yet, but it's all full of metal all around here. Okay, let's take a look at the, this also was, uh, as you drive it, it would bind up on the one, two shift, let lock up. This is the low sprag, the center support, and this is all destroyed. The uh, sprag is all destroyed here. Here is the rear planet. There's really nothing even left on the gears here. All the gears are broken right off. Here is the sun gear. And the ring gear has all is all mashed up, all broken teeth. All right, three, four, three, four frictions. The bank smoked. The reason why I'm, I'm showing you this is because what I think happened is this happened because of different tire sizes. I have a stagger gauge which looks like this. This measures the circumference of the tires. It, it opens up. It opens up to measure the circumference of, of the tires. And even though he has, say, 225, 65, 17s, doesn't mean that the tires are the same. All right? What I think happened is he has all the same tire sizes, but he has different tires on the car, meaning uh, one is a Bridgestone, one is a, a Michelin. And when you have all-wheel drive vehicles, you can't have more than a quarter of an inch difference in the circumference of the tire. And this one, one of the back tires has a two inch difference from one of the front tires. One of the main reasons why I think is because he has only one new tire and three old tires on the car. And that is going to make the transfer case work over time. Uh, uh, you're not going to get stuff spinning at the same rate and it's going to apply the, uh, the transfer case. And I think that's what destroyed this transmission. Uh, when we saw this, the first thing we looked at was the tires and sure enough, uh, the tires were, were different. Uh, the two front tires are pretty much the same. They're within a quarter of an inch. And the back one, like for instance, the front tire read, uh, I guess it's like 94 inches according to that stagger gauge. And one of the back tires read 96. And that is a big, big difference which it caused this to happen. Uh, another thing, since this is an all wheel drive, it has the transfer case on it. I look up what type of fluid the transfer case is supposed to take and it calls for the pretty much the Dextron 6 or like a synthetic fluid is fine and I don't know how well this is going to show up in the camera but this fluid is completely is completely black and the fluid stinks so that's what I think is going on with this train so I just wanted to uh, shoot this video, show you these bad parts, just to stress the importance of when you have an all-wheel drive car, how important tire size is. I have customers that have other all-wheel drive vehicles, uh, whether it be like a Durango or whatever kind of car it may be, and when they come into me for regular servicing, every other oil change the tires get rotated so they wear evenly. And that way, when the person is ready for tires, they're gonna do all four at the same time to be on the safe side. Uh, a couple other things I did wanna show you here is the forward clutches. These teeth are, there's nothing left on them. The teeth are shot, but that's probably just normal wear and tear. 
Um, but the main reason for this is, uh, is to show you what can happen. Uh, in my opinion, I would diagnose this as wrong tire size. All right, actually what I thought about is uh, I'm going to put the stagger gauge on the tire and just show you the difference in the tires. So this actually is the new tire and this is a capital and you put it right across the center and squeeze it just like that, okay, till it won't close anymore and then we take it off. Oh, let me get the reading again. And we take it off, okay, and then you read the numbers here. Okay, so this says 96. So let me just get set up on the other tire and let's see what that reads. I'm going to pause it for one sec. All right, now, this is the front tire that was the rear, and this is a good year. And don't forget, that one was 96 reading on the stagger gauge. Now, this is still reading 96, and when I put it across, see how loose that is? I can kind of even move this back and forth. And then we're going to squeeze that, and we're going to take a look at this reading. And this reading is roughly about 94 and a quarter. And that's where the problem is. That's how important having all the same tires are on these all-wheel drive vehicles. All right, so I just wanted to show you uh, how you would determine tire size. You could use a tape measure also, but I like the stagger gauge. So we got about almost a two-inch difference uh, inch and you know three-quarter two inch difference between the tires and that's uh, again what I think had happened even though it says the 245 70 R17 says the exact same thing on that tire you know that's brand new and these are all kind of all worn down that's also a problem that's why normally you have to go for four tires on these all-wheel drives when you've got to get tires put on all right guys uh, take care and uh, have a good day